after I'm in the social cohesion unit. I started there roughly five years ago and I started working on a social cohesion um, project in Vietnam. So we were analyzing social cohesion, the different dimensions, social capital, social mobility, social inclusion, social protection, um, income mobility. I like that it's applied analysis, it's not pure academic. Uh, it's relevant for policymakers and you know more, you are in touch with policymakers so you understand what they need, what are the challenges, the bottleneck and how you can help them to implement better policies. So it's very much a plant and that I enjoy a lot and being in touch with many different cultures, different people and in my project especially very, very different topics. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think in general, I think for the uh, multi-culture environment, the public policy program, just not from the context, uh, content itself, but also from from the people, it was a very international program. So this helps you also to kind of collaborate and the teamwork uh, with like different cultures, but also content-wise, I think like introduction to public policy and uh, public policy analysis, or um, also the migration parts, because uh, I specialized in migration and I really, I loved it. So it was really interesting. And what I liked in particular was that we always had external lecturers coming uh, to Maastricht. Um, so this gave a, gave a very great insight into migration and also public policy in different ways. Yeah, indeed, the mix of uh, different professionals coming to teach us. So it wasn't it was academic and high quality, but it was applied. So we had uh, in my days we had representatives from the ILO, UNICEF, from different country offices coming teaching us what are actually the facts in the countries, uh, what do you need to work there. So this was very interesting, and especially the people, the commitment of the other students, the engagement. Um, it was uh, very intense here. I was there only for the masters and uh, we had a lot of work to do. I liked really much this problem-based learning system where you had one semester cramped into one month and you could fully focus on that. And we had great groups of students where yeah, everybody was engaged and worked until 1 a.m., 2 a.m. sometimes, but it was also fun and making good friendships. What I really liked is that you learn like in the methodology part, you learn different methodologies, like quantitative, qualitative, and like compared also to Germany, what I mean, German universities are free, but then the advantage in Maastricht was very much that uh, we could learn like Stata or mm. could even actually have the programs and could uh, really learn how to use them. So this was really intense, uh, an intensive data training that really helped me. Um, the MPP nicely combines the best of different uh, academic fields. I did before a uh, bachelor's in economics. Uh, which was great to learn the techniques, but it was not very applied. And in the MPP, you can learn the best from political science, social science, economics, qualitative, quantitative. So uh, it's good to bring things together. Um, then for the master's program itself, I would say you need can we need really to be to have endurance, to be uh, ambitious. Because it's sometimes really hard, you have deadlines till midnight or the next day at 8 a.m. and then you work the whole night, so this was really intense. Many stayed in, or some stayed in academia, continued PhDs, uh, others went to international organization, to local governments, to national governments, NGOs, EU, uh, but also quite some went back or into the private sector, so it's a wide range.